Hi, I'm just making a really quick video for you showing you how to very, very easily deliver high-end bespoke online personal training and online coaching to your clients using PT Distinction. To start with, you just log in and this is the screen you get when you log in. You come up to the top if you want to add a client and add them. So this would be, let's say, 10 minutes after you've got off the phone with them, you just add the client. So you just put their name and email address in. Select the sex. You can either use your time zone, which will be the default, or you can select your client's time zone. That will just make scheduling a little bit more convenient for them and when emails and things that are scheduled go out to them. So it's entirely up to you what you use. Then come over to add to groups and I would add them to your welcome pack group and click on add, copy the content to their account and save. Now what that does adding them to the welcome pack is it sends them a welcome email. At this point here it lets you send their login details if you wish to. So you can either say yes and include a message with that or you can leave that for now and wait until you've finished with setting up everything for them. So the welcome pack will send them a welcome email it will put into their account straight away their informed consent form and a park you to fill out and it will also put in their schedule the first couple of days for a food diary. You can change anything in there but that's just what it has and that will automatically go into their account. So if we find that client, click on them, it takes you straight into the client's dashboard. You'll see that they have fill in their park key informed consent form and it asks for a couple of days of food diary in their schedule. From here is where you do everything for your individual clients and it's very very simple. If you want to for example add an assessment you can create an initial assessment for them. Just give it a title and you can choose the category we have postural assessment and movement screens, range of motion testing, strength, endurance and power, body composition analysis, cardiovascular testing and any custom tests that you want to add yourself. So for now, I'll just drop in a quick clap test, drag it and drop it, put it into the right category and you just build your assessment like that. When you're happy with your assessment, just save it. Now this type of assessment I recommend you do over Skype so that's part of your coaching. You can put it into the schedule now if you like or you can do that a little bit later. I'll just close that down so I can show you how to do it in a second. So there's the assessment there and here's your schedule. So anything that you haven't put into the schedule you just click on add event. Choose the date that you want that to go. So we'll do that straight away for their first Skype assessment. Let's have it tomorrow. Choose a time. Choose the event type, so this would be an assessment. You can put it in your own calendar if you want to, probably not a bad idea with a Skype call. And you can choose to repeat it if you like. So let's say you want to do an assessment each month, you could repeat the same assessment each month. So let's say every one month for let's say six months. And that will go into their schedule. You can put any notes with it that you like. And save it you see that that goes into their schedule and that will be into the schedule every month for the next six, six months. If you wish to move the day, you just click on it, edit, and you can change any of the details that you like. Obviously, once you've done their assessment, once you're happy with all the information you've got on your client, you start creating their program. So you just come up to add program. You can either take it from a program template or you can create it from new. With bespoke clients, you probably create most of them from new. You can later copy it for any other clients and edit for any clients. So you could do prog one, and then you just choose your exercises. So it's a simple drag and drop. Once again, there's categories. Uh, 
and you can drag and drop into the program builder. If you want to have a look at the exercise, just click on preview exercise and you'll see that the video is done for you. The description is done for you and it will all show to your clients. If you want to find out any way to make any type of program, then it's in the tutorials here. So circuits, supersets, time sets, anything like that, all in the tutorials here. So any details, you can fill in sets, reps, tempo, rest, etc. And then when you're happy with it, you can save. Once again, you can schedule. So let's say you want them to do this program once a week for the next four weeks. You can just schedule in for tomorrow. If there's no particular time that they say they want to train, then you can just put it in in the morning and it will be in their schedule for the day. Repeat every week for four weeks. Add that to the schedule and you can change any of the sets, reps, tempo, rest, for any one of the particular days. So if you want to progress them, you can just do it here. When you're happy with all of that, once again, save it. And go back to the client. It'll show you the schedule and there is the program. So, so far you've got food diary, forms and questionnaires in there, you've got a program, and an assessment all sorted and that's a program every week for four weeks and assessment every month for six months. You could do very much the same thing with coaching and tracking. So with the high-end stuff most of your coaching you would want to get done on the phone but you can also reinforce a lot of it via video. Video is very very good so you can add a video you might want to welcome them to your platform you might want to give them a little guided tour of your apps you can do this with a brilliant app called AZ screen recorder which you can just record your app so any kind of video that you want to add it's also a good idea to give a recap of your calls so what you talked about on the call what action steps you want them to take it's nice for them to have a little recap so you can do this in a video or you can do this in a document if you like. You can take it from your attachment library or you can just take it from your computer. If you're on your phone, you can take it from your phone as well. So whatever device you've got your videos on, it's easiest just to log in and do it from there. Click on your video and it will upload. You can attach it to your attachment library, which just means it's easier to get anywhere on PT Distinction. So it will be stored on the software and you can grab it anytime easily. Choose when it goes live. So if you want your client to see it now, leave it live. If you want to see them not to see it for a little while, then set a date when it goes live. When you're happy, press on OK and your coaching video will upload. Now it will tell you it's been uploaded and that it is being processed. In this time you can just add it to the schedule, choose the date you want it to go, and the time. You can repeat it in the same way and you can add any notes to it. Other things you can include in the coaching slash tracking uh, food diary which you can schedule day after day very quickly. Adherence chart, which is a little precision nutrition style tick sheet for food. Progress photos, results tracking. So this means you can track results of absolutely anything you want your clients to track. So if you want them to use the app for body fat, you can do that. Um, things like weight measurements, things like tape measurements, anything easily in the app, just put in there. Um, you know, 10K runs, any kind of activity, anything like that, you can just pop into the results tracking. It's also very, very good for tracking habits. So if you do habit coaching, you can pop it into the results tracking and track some habits. Meal plans. You can add any text coaching, any PDFs, which can be great for recipe books and other recipes and videos, which again can be great for your coaching, your cooking lessons, shopping tours, that sort of thing. So any kind of coaching and tracking you can add into the system. And you've seen how the scheduling works. It can be very, very quick. Any other forms and questionnaires you want are all there and you can create your own custom forms and questionnaires as well. It works in pretty much the same way as Google Forms. And let me show you what's included. 
With a custom form, you can just put in a header, a paragraph, text fields, text areas, there's checkboxes, checkbox groups, any of this stuff. So everything that you would find in a top class form builder, you can have and you can add those options. You can edit any of them that you wish to by adding options, changing anything you like. So you can create very professional custom forms. So it's specifically what you want. You can also send emails to your clients and set up scheduled emails, set up repeating emails. So this can be great for training reminders, something like that. Let's say you set a training session every Monday, every Wednesday and every Friday, you might want to just set up a repeated email that says, go train. You can add a bit of a personal touch with it. Starting from today, ending, you can choose whatever date could be few months down the line, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Select the time you want it to go. So it might be a couple of minutes before they train. If they train at 10 in the morning, you can just select that. And let's say on Friday they train in the evening. So we'll go then write your message. Go train anything you like, make it really personal for them. And then you can save that and that will go out before their training session, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every week until you decide to stop it. And once you set that up, you will see that that is in your client's account and you can see when it's going to go, you can edit it and change anything like that. Back to the client. When you're happy with what's in their account, if you didn't already send them their login details when signing them up, you can just click here, send login details and you can include a little message with those login details and that will send your client to your own personal app and your website. So you can integrate all of this into your website and you can have your own app in Apple and Android stores. These will have your images, your colors, your descriptions, your image, your photos and basically be entirely your apps. As I say, it integrates into your website. So it looks like it's completely your own thing there shouldn't be any PT distinction anywhere. So it's very, very good for your branding as well. It looks like you have invested serious money in setting up your own system. So that is pretty much everything. We've put it all in the schedule and that's how simple it is to do it all when using PT distinction. And it can save you a huge amount of time, especially with the scheduling for regular events. And then when your clients log in and do anything, you will get an alert up at the top. So it will tell you program health, just lets you know whose programs you need to update. And then your client's name, you can click on them. It will tell you absolutely everything that they have done. So it'll tell you unseen activity, let you know that their program needs attention. So you should build them a new one soon. It'll show you that they've done technique videos so you can view your client's technique. Obviously, this is just me playing around. So that'll be your client's technique and the exercise demo at the top. It'll show you that they've recorded results, recorded notes, and you can go in and click on anything to see what results have been recorded, see what notes they've made. So there are the notes, results recorded, dated, and you can see any progress that they've made on anything. Now, if there's certain things you want to see, you can just click on the drop down and you can see check-ins, results, food diary, adherence chart, progress photos, technique videos, and any forms that they have saved. So you can specifically see anything you like. Once you're happy with everything you've seen, just mark all as seen, and you'll see that it goes from white to shaded, so that you know that that's all been seen before. Unseen activity drops down to naught, and then anything else that your clients do later on will come in and you'll get alerted of. So you can keep track of them very, very easily as well, which is great on your next coaching call because you can tell them what they've been up to, what's good, what's bad. You can even give them feedback on their training technique. So that is pretty much everything. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments and I will do my best to answer and get back to you very quickly.